here we have a question on Indian elephants from the 2020 prelims examination okay and why this question is there were several news articles related to Indian elephants even though there were several news this question is mainly based on the census which was happened in 2017 okay so there was a census in 2017 based on the Indian elephants right so from that we have the fourth statement okay other than this census in 2017 this elephants was also in use several times for example the plan B plan B was an initiative to protect the elephants okay so in order to protect the elephants from railway accidents we are having we were having an initiative called as plan B regarding that it was in use and also elephants was in use several times because lots of cruelty to wild elephants was happened in different parts of India especially in Kerala also okay even though Kerala is one of the state which is having highest number of elephants the population of elephants is decreasing in Kerala and that was also a data from the 2017 elephant census so the UPC question is like this with reference to Indian elephants consider the following statements first statement the leader of an elephant group is a female second the maximum gestation period of period can be 22 months third an elephant can normally go on calving till the age of 40 years only. Fourth, among the states in India, the highest elephant population is in Kerala. And you can see a model question of elephants from New OIS from the model test 15. Even though there was no direct statements from the model question, you can see the second statement of the model question. Asiatic elephants are able to produce a subsonic rumble that it travels a large distance over the ground to send a message to an entire head. Okay. So, the answer for this question is A1 and 2. The first and second statements are correct. The third statement is wrong. Why? Because uh, the elephant doesn't have sweat glands. That's why elephants don't sweat. Okay, elephants don't have sweat glands. So, that's why third statement is wrong. So, the answer for this model question is A1 and 2 only. So, if you know the second statement is correct or if you want to know the second statement, obviously, you will be searching on the uh, leadership of the elephants. Okay, so the second statement says that in order to pass a message to the entire group of the elephants, the leader will produce a kind of subsonic rumble through their trunk and that will be absorbed by the uh, food and trunk of the other elephants. Okay, so usually the leaders are transmitting this subsonic rumble, right? So if you know this fact, you will be also knowing that the leader will be a female elephant and mostly it will be a old female elephant. Okay, so the leader of the elephant herd elephant group will be a oldest female elephant okay and they will pass the message to the entire herd right so if you know that then you can go for the uh, upc question in upc question the first statement they are saying that the leader of an elephant group is a female okay so the first statement is correct right so if the first statement is correct we can eliminate b and c and remaining options are a and d only so by knowing the second or third or fourth any of these statement will get the answer right so before going for the answer for this question let us discuss some points regarding indian elephants okay so the indian elephants its scientific name is elephas maximus indicus okay so the elephas maximus indicus or the indian elephant is one of the threatened species in india it is one of the endangered category in india so since it is an endangered or threatened species it is listed in the schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 in india okay so Indian elephant or Asiatic elephant is listed in the schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 because it is one of the endangered species. Even though the elephants are given legal protection under the wildlife protection act 1972, still the elephants are facing cruelty and also there was a project elephant to protect the elephants in India. The elephants in India are facing cruelty. As a result, the population of elephants in most of the states in India are decreasing. So, we know that elephants, it is one of the largest land animal. Since it is the largest land animal, it is also having the largest brain okay so elephant is one of the intelligent and the largest land animal which is having the largest brain okay so the elephants they will trumpet during the excitement okay whenever the stress or excitement are there uh, the elephants they will trumpet and also the leader of the elephant herd or elephant group that means the oldest female of the group that is the leader of the elephant herd they will pass a subsonic rumble through their trunk okay in order to pass a message to the entire herd entire group the leader that means the oldest female of the herd she will pass a message through the trunk and that is a subsonic rumble and that subsonic rumble will be sensed by the other elephants using their uh, 
trunk or using their foods. So the elephants they will produce a subsonic rumble when they want to send a message to an entire herd. The sound traveling a large distance over the ground received by the skin of their feet and trunks. Now the elephants are the intelligent creatures and their brains are the largest of any land animal. So we said that elephants are intelligent creatures, right? So for the highly intelligent animals, they require long developmental periods. So long developmental periods are a common among the highly intelligent animals. So that's why they will be requiring a large developmental period, a longest developmental period. Since elephant is an intelligent creature, we know that intelligent creatures require a long developmental periods. That means they will be having long gestation period. Okay. Since elephants are the largest living and the biggest brained land animal in the world, there is a lot of development for the elephants to do in the womb. That's why they require a longest gestation period. Around it will be around in between 18 to 22 months. Okay. So the elephants have the longest gestation period of all mammals, carrying their young for 18 to 22 months before giving birth. Why? Because they need to develop more. They require long developmental periods. So another factor regarding the elephants is they lack sweat glands. The, that's why they won't sweat. So in order to protect these wild elephants, we know that in 2010, the Environment Ministry declared elephant as the National Heritage Animal of India. Okay, so the India's Environment Ministry declared the elephant as the National Heritage Animal. And also we know that we are having a centrally sponsored scheme called as Project Elephant. So for the protection of elephants, we are having a project called as Project Elephant and it's a centrally sponsored scheme which was launched in 1992. So Project Elephant provides the financial and technical support to the states. Okay, now I said that there was a census happened in 2017. This data is based on the census. Okay. So according to the revised state-wise wild elephant population estimate based on the 2017 census, South India had the highest number of wild elephants. Among the South Indian states, Karnataka leads the table followed by the Kerala. So Karnataka is having the highest number of elephants and the second one is Kerala. Okay, why the Kerala is second is the population of wild elephants in Kerala is decreasing. Okay, so by that census, the country faced a marginal rise of elephants. Okay, so when the country saw a marginal rise of elephants, Kerala witnessed a slight decline of around 7 percentage when compared to the 2012 census. Now let's move on to the question. First statement, the leader of an elephant group is a female. So we discussed about that. So first statement is correct. We eliminated B and C. Then second statement, the maximum gestation period can be 22 months. Okay, so that's the correct statement. We said that it will be between 18 to 22 months. So second statement is correct. So that's why we eliminated C or D also. And the answer is A, 1 and 2 only. Okay. So, the third and fourth statements are wrong. Just go for the third and fourth. An elephant can normally go on calving till the age of 14 years only. So, they are saying that elephants can all, only calve till the age of 40 years only. That is a wrong statement. Whenever they get age, their fertility will be decreasing. Okay. So, the fertility will decrease by the aging. Right. But, after 40 years also, they can give the birth to young ones okay so that's why the third statement is wrong okay so after 40 years or after 50 years their fertility will be decreasing okay but that is not stopping the elephants giving the birth okay so that's why third statement is wrong and we know that they used the word called as only there right so most of the time whenever the UPSC use the word only we can con conclude that that statement will be wrong okay so if you use that technique then third statement will be wrong so that's why also we can get the answer as a one and two only okay then the fourth statement among the states in india the highest elephant population is in kerala that's a wrong statement karnataka was the state which is having highest number of population and second was kerala and kerala was having a uh, decreasing num number of population okay so the answer for this question is a one and two only 